this is a fun step because we're really starting to get into the what makes a neural network a neural network. We're putting in forward propagation, but so far only the linear parts. We're not yet adding a nonlinear activation function. So to do this, we go to layer.py, we go to our dense layer object, we create a new method, forward prop. It takes in a set of inputs. These are the inputs to the layer. And the first thing we do is take a single bias input. So it's a just a two dimensional array, but size one by one, and it has a value of one. And then concatenate. So we just stack that on top of the inputs, which itself we have set up as a two dimensional array. And we specify to stack it on axis number one. So axis number zero is always the row. Axis number one is always the column. So you can picture this as a horizontal set of inputs and the bias neuron is being tacked on to the very right side, the very final column. Then we have this set of full augmented inputs, X, and we matrix multiply that by the weights. Also a two dimensional array. Doing that then lets us get the output Y. Then we return that as a result. Now we can go into our ANN class in framework.py and add a forward prop method there. We take in the inputs X. In this case, these are the inputs to the entire neural network. Whatever form that it's in, we take it and ravel it, meaning we turn it into a one dimensional NumPy array. And then the construction on the end, the square brackets, new axis, comma, colon, square bracket. What this does is it takes that one dimensional array and it stretches it out across columns, puts it all into a single row, but make sure it cuts across columns. Then the next line takes our from our list of layers, which we only have one layer in it right now. So take that one and only element, run the forward prop method on it. We've already taken our input and renamed it from X to Y. The reason for doing this will be clear a little bit later. Um, it just makes it easier if you're calling one layer after the other, the output of the previous layer is always the input to the next layer. So in this case, we take and run forward prop on the inputs. We get a Y as an output, and then we return that. We flatten it again. We ravel it. So we return it as a one dimensional array. Then we can go back now into our train and evaluate methods, and we can add this forward prop step. So we bring our data in, we take our training set, we pull an example, we normalize it. Now the next thing we do is we run it through our forward propagation. We get the result Y and we'll print that out in our training method uh, just so we can see that it's working. But then we do the exact same thing in our evaluate method. Now when we run it, we can see, sure enough, we get what we would expect. One dimensional arrays and we're expecting a size of four. And these are the outputs of this neural network. So it appears to be working as intended. 